How's it going guys? Dan the Wild Birdman here and I have some Beyblade X news for you guys. So we are getting a red Dronzer, we are getting a Weiss Tiger, and Metal Needle got a ban of sorts, right? I'll get into it here in a second, but I first wanted to talk about the red Dronzer because I'm really hyped for it. A lot of people are really confused because again, it's, it's the same pieces as the blue Dronzer, right? So it's 380 taper. Like, you guys already are familiar with the release, so I won't, you know, chat on about it. But a lot of people are confused why we're getting this recolor. So if you turn back the clock to 2002, when we got Dronzer S, it was blue. A few years later, I can't unfortunately find an exact release date, but we did get a red Dronzer with the Phantom Force series. And for me personally, this is really nostalgic because I accidentally broke my Dronzer S. Um, I actually made a, a video talking about that. I'll probably throw the link somewhere up here. But basically, I was devastated when I destroyed it because it was one of my favorite bays. And I begged my dad to take me to Target to get another one. But because this was like a year after it had been released, I couldn't get the original blue one, but because of Beyblade Phantom Force, I was able to get a red one. And even though I was still disappointed that Red Dronzer had all the same pieces and it really grew on me, so I feel like I need both the blue and the red, you know, to add to my collection just because, you know, it's it's one of those things, you know, I, I can't really um, explain it, but Definitely a pickup for me, maybe not a pickup for everybody, but I'm just happy to see it, you know. Um, the other thing is Metal Needle got unofficially banned. And the reason why I say unofficially banned is because it's not a hard and fast rule. It's basically up to the tournament organizer. And I think WBO really made the right call on this one because I was talking in my other video how Metal Needle or Metal Spike you know, can potentially cause damage to stadiums. And again, I don't think it's a competitive part. I think that it can have its uses. But for right now, you know, at least allowing people the opportunity to consider using it. But again, if you're the tournament organizer and you feel uncomfortable, like people are going to punch holes in your stadiums, you have the right to say, you know, I don't want you guys, you know, using that part that might poke a hole in the stadium, especially because as it as it stands, it's a little harder to get a hold of Beyblade X stadiums. I'm feeling like, you know, the WBO might allow the Hasbro ones at some point, or hopefully the price will go down because I think it's like it's almost like fifty bucks. I think just for the stadium right now and you have to order it you have to wait for it to ship you know from from overseas so you know i think that was the right call to make and i'm i'm assuming that'll stay in place you know unless something changes um what do you guys think now the other release that i want to talk about is vice tiger now i know people are going to have trouble pronouncing it at first and that's totally fine as long as we all know what we're talking about, but the correct way to pronounce it is Weiss, because Weiss in German means white. So white tiger makes perfect sense with the design. Um, you can see that the bit chip, you know, in fact has a white tiger. I know some people were comparing it to like a Mr. Beast logo or a badger. And let me just take one second to tell you how awesome it would be if we had a honey badger Beyblade, like make it a defense type, make it go all out like, Honey Badger don't care, you know, make make that. That would be so cool. But um, let's look at the shape of Vice Tiger for a second. And I'm almost getting like Ray Unicorno vibes. I like how it's, it's aggressive, but it's also very sleek, very smooth. I think that it's going to be good, you know, for airflow. I don't know if the contact points are really sharp enough to... You know really be effective in battle but it is a beautiful looking beyblade right you've got three really sharp sleek points and then you have three that are more kind of 
chunky in my opinion. So I'm thinking those chunky pieces, you know, might cause a bit of drag and might not be as impactful to actually, you know, deal damage and to push, you know, opposing bays out of the stadium or burst them. The other thing that I notice when I look at this bay is I think those little white um, pieces, I'm not sure how I should explain it, but it looks like there's plastic underneath the metal that's exposed, you know, hence the white tiger because it shows, I guess, kind of like stripes, you know, underneath the metal. So I'm wondering if this is going to be an attack type that's a little bit lighter, a little bit faster, and that definitely, you know, fits the theme. Again, time will tell when we get it in hand. Um, the ratchet for this bay is going to be 360, really nothing, uh, nothing really to say about that. A lot of these ratchets are kind of getting samey, you know, it's basically just how many points they have and how tall they are. I cannot wait until we get some ratchets that actually change and affect the game. Like, I'm hyped for that, right? I, I want to see something different and unique. But until then, you know, we're just going to keep on rolling with what they give us. But the bit really does interest me. It's called Unite, and it kind of looks like a cross between ball and taper. And it has this little dimple at the bottom. So... I'm wondering how this is going to perform. Okay, first of all, it makes me think that, you know, how you launch it is really going to change up how it's going to work. I think you could flat launch it like an attack type, but if you tilted it a little bit, it might have kind of like initial aggressive pattern, but then once it settles kind of in the middle of the stadium, it might perform a little bit more like a defense or stamina combo. Again, I feel like this is one of those pieces that I need to get my hands on so I can test it, so I can see how it really works. But honestly, it's really intriguing, and I want to check it out. So hopefully this was interesting news for you guys. I appreciate you guys listening. Have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one.